I began this morning talking about some of the pioneers of the computer industry. And uh, I'm very proud to be able to, to introduce one of them to you right now for a little discussion. Diane Green began her career uh, working on relational databases at Sybase, went on to found VMware, one of the most significant companies in the technology industry in the last 20 years, is a board member of Google's parent company, Alphabet, and as of last year, also a senior vice president at Google, running all of Google Cloud. So please join me in welcoming Diane Green. Thank hey. you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. Great to be here. So we had a, a call last week to, to figure out what we were going to talk about, and I learned something new about you. You studied <laughs> naval architecture. Yeah, uh, and that came up because Stuart was sort of talking about the history of productivity, and I said, wow, that reminds me, um, you know, in terms of what the tools have let us create. When I started out in naval architecture, what I described to Stuart was this lead duck. And um, this is how we designed ship lines. The little hook went in a spline, and you'd kind of do your curve. And nowadays, of course, the computer makes all kinds of better <laughs> curves possible. So that that's just you know, on the creativity side and, and, and then getting to databases. Actually, I was just thinking, as you said, Sybase, um, you know, that's sort of the learning side. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you think about it, a relational database organizes your information and now AI is organizing your information. So what an amazing advance. And then uh, communication, like when my startup Bebop that I was doing before joining Google uh, we were trying, kind of struggling with what communication tool, mm -hmm. and uh, you didn't know I was going to say this, but we put Slack in place, <laughs> and by the end of the day, the entire startup of you know maybe 50 people was using this thing. It was incredible. It was transparent. Diane Green, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and now you know it's being able to collaborate. I mean. It, you know, at Google, we use the, you know the docs and the slides, and we well, actually, when I was at an MIT uh, visiting committee, I had the whole committee collaborating in real time, writing comments about the de the mechanical engineering department we were reviewing while we reviewed it. Mm -hmm. Kind of an amazing experience, yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's interesting that you you bring that up because I guess. Um we sometimes think of the tools as making what we already did better or faster, but often it just means that people are doing something completely different. So that all of that time that went into hanging the docs off the spline is now <laughs> replaced with a, a different um, area of effort. We've seen a lot of changes uh, over the last 20 years, and I know there's economists still debate back and forth about whether there are real productivity gains from our yeah. investment in IT. As, as a user of the products, it seems um, totally unarguable that these things make us more powerful. Well, what's been your experience over the last, say, 15 or 20 years? Do you feel more powerful? Yeah, I mean, definitely the tools are better, but, but they do have their drawbacks. I mean, I bet you have had the experience where, or I, I like to get up early Saturday morning and I would, you know, kind of, if you answer all your email early Saturday morning and go out for a run, guess what? You have mm -hmm. even more email when you get back <laughs> with everybody <laughs> answering you. So I've learned, you know, you don't want to make the efficiency is not as important as the productivity. Yep. And and I think as AI gets stronger and stronger, it's going to help us prioritize and make sure we get done the important things and and kind of, you know, use it as a real productivity tool as opposed to simply an efficiency tool. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you have already said the words AI, and um, yeah. it's, it's, it's great. <laughs> it's I, uh, hard to not talk about it these days. I had the yeah. opportunity to meet Fei Fei Li at a dinner in um, at the CES in Vegas about a month ago, and you recently brought her on board to run AI efforts for cloud. Can you tell me a little bit about what, what the plan is there, what you're thinking about? Sure, and Fei Fei Li is this, she grew up in China, uh, you know, was just a total math prodigy, and then anyhow, came over to the US, finished high school running a dry cleaner, and uh, anyhow, went on and got her PhD and whatnot, and is running the AI lab at Stanford, and I'm super 
longtime friend of mine, and uh, she is so visionary and and then such a doer, such mm -hmm. an executor. You know, she did that image.net, which kind of was the precursor of machine learning um, because it let people compete and see how valuable it was. And so we're sort of on a mission to democratize AI, to, to really make it completely easy for anybody to use anywhere in the world. And, and the cloud uh, obviously provides the perfect vehicle, um, you know, because it's accessible, so accessible, and, and share, everything can be shared, and you can put these huge data sets in the cloud and then uh, do your machine learning on them. And, and, uh, and so developing the tools to, to let everybody, anybody take advantage of what we've learned about how to use machine learning and AI um, is, you know, it's going to be transformative increasingly, so it already is, yeah. The futurists often say that uh, we overestimate the short-term effects of technological change and underestimate the long-term effects. So we have this fantasy at Slack that uh, all of the conversations that we have are become harvestable. And all of that basic factual information that people spend so much time going back and forth on, like who is so-and-so's manager, or when did this thing launch, what was our revenue in this quarter, mm -hmm. all of those things can be answered by, uh, by a machine, by an AI. Um, and we can take the energy and effort that went into those things and, and apply them to those areas which actually require human creativity and um, human intellect. You think this is a two-year thing, a five-year thing, a 10-year thing, a never thing? I guess like, coming from Google, I think it's especially interesting because my experience as a consumer is totally yeah. different, as Noah mentioned before, than my experience inside of a company where I start typing a query, I get a third of the way through, it already knows what I was going to ask. Right. 800 milliseconds later, the one box result is back. And yeah. um, my experience inside, uh, nothing like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, actually, that's, yeah, it is totally changing. And that's one, I mean, we're now making our natural language processing APIs available to to, you know, anybody can use them, or translation, language translation, or image recognition. And so, so that stuff is available to any enterprise developer now. So you're going to see more and more, uh, you know, APIs to make people smarter, even a jobs API and so on. Um, so I think it's going to change amaz amazingly fast. And then as it becomes trivial for anybody to build a model around their data, that'll f further accelerate it. And uh, yeah, you're right. You know, <laughs> it's it's going to be constrained by privacy, by access controls, but otherwise, you know, and rightly so. I su you know, and uh, although some people argue that one day, I don't know how far out there, everybody will share everything because what's the point? Mm -hmm. And and <laughs> assuming the world. Last till then? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't quote me. Um, <laughs> um, but anyhow, no. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a world with all the information you want at your fingertips when you, want, when you want it in a way that you kind of feel that it's second guessing you. You know, it knows that before you start typing what it is you're after. In fact, we already have search that kind of does that. It knows who you are, and when you start to type, it's already, you go into the product, and it's presenting you with what we think you probably are looking for. Yeah, it's uh, it, so it, definitely something that I love to, to think about yeah. and speculate about. And I yeah, and to, I think Slack's got so, in, you know, incredible opportunities to put that to work. Yeah. At the same time, some of the simplest tools can be so powerful. And in fact, if you told me the story of uh, first time using a Google Doc to organize an event, <laughs> encouraging everyone to get their comments up live, yeah. it's, um, it's something that we almost immediately take for granted after we get the product. So you know, the first day, it's holy smokes, this is amazing, Co yeah. live collaborative editing. Um, a week later, it's pfft. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and absolutely, I mean, that's how my team works. We did this thing where we had an alphabet board meeting and we only met for one hour before the board meeting because we did the docs and the slides collaboratively and it only took, and then we got this huge compliment when we presented, oh, you guys are like a basketball team passing the ball around and it was because we'd been, they didn't call us the Warriors, that would have been the <laughs> ultimate compliment, but um, anyhow, they, they uh, 
yeah, it really helps. You know, the other thing we haven't mentioned, which I'm sure is in Slack's future, is virtual reality. Mm -hmm. And, you know, now people are starting to be able to do collaborative experiences where it's not just you do experiencing it, but two people together can experience it. And then slowly but surely, we're going to be able to create inside it. And, and uh, you know, that's a little further out, but it's certainly where it's going. Yeah. Uh, Diane, I wish we had a little bit more time. I can see the <laughs> clock ticking down. It's always a pleasure to get to talk to you. And yeah, thank you so yeah, much for being totally here today. Totally great. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thanks. Bye.